five key areas you need to get right when taking a soil sample involve area, timing, equipment, sampling pattern and sampling depth. A correctly taken soil sample is key to getting a reliable picture of the lime, phosphorus and potassium needs of your farm. Area per sample. Farms in derogation are required to take soil samples at least once every four years and at least one sample per five hectares. Generally speaking, the soil sampling area should not be more than four hectares. Timing. Leave at least three months between the last application of chemical fertiliser or manure before taking your soil sample. Equipment. You will need sample boxes, your lipis or BPS map in colour, a soil corer and a pen. Taking the sample. Take a W-shaped path across the plot while taking samples. Avoid sampling gateways, dung patches and mucky areas. The sampling depth of the corer should be 10 centimetres. About 20 cores will fill a box. Fill the box level with the lid. The area that goes in each soil sample box must be the same in regard to crop rotation and soil characteristics. Consult the EPA soil organic map to check areas classified as peat or mineral soils. Talk to your Chagisk advisor about this. Write the soil sample number on the map. Write the same number on the box. Also write the field name on the box. This will help you recognise the field without the map. In summary, ideally take one sample per four hectares. Leave three months between the last spreading of fertiliser and taking your samples. Make sure you have all the proper equipment such as boxes, lipis map and a soil core when taking samples. Take your samples in a W-shaped pattern. Write your sample number on the lipis map. Write the sample number on the box and write the field name on the box and fill the box to the lid. Chagas provides a soil sampling service. Contact your local Chagas office for more information. Thank you for watching. Bye.